real quick, Kevin Hart said he wouldn't issue an apology because of these homophobic tweets that the LGBT community and these white supremacists dug up 10 years ago uh, from Twitter. He was supposed to host the Oscars and they found these tweets, they found these tweets 10 years ago and now the LGBT community and these white supremacists are forcing him to issue an apology. And Kevin Hart said, no, I don't need to apologize. I've already addressed this issue several times. And I must say, I co-sign that. I agree. Kevin Hart does not need to issue an apology. Um, the LGBT community is saying that the community has been disrespected and mistreated and all this stuff when black society have been mis mistreated and disrespected and disenfranchised and marginalized and destroyed for over 500 years. Free labor for centuries. You know what I'm saying? And we haven't gotten not one cent of reparations compared to other groups such as the Native American community, the Japanese community the Jewish community. They got their reparations for their atrocities, but black society, who has been mistreated for over 500 years, and we're not a protected group like these other groups, like the LGBT community. We don't even have a spokesperson on our behalf to say, hey, uh, this black person is being mistreated. You need to issue an apology and give them some money. We don't have that. So I fully I fully agree with uh, Kevin, Kevin Hart for not issuing an apology and also the fact that, you know, no matter how much shucking and jiving and no matter how much things that you want, you're trying to do to appease to the dominant white society, to give them to accept you, because, you know, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart had to shuck and jive his way to becoming a successful comedian. You know, he's one of the top paid comedians, period, today. So he had to assimilate with the dominant white society and, and, and you know, beg for their acceptance. Um, but the fact that no matter how much shucking and jiving you do, <laughs> they still gonna find ways to deny your entry and, and assimilation into the dominant white society. So I just wanted to make this video real quick because I got I'm on my my uh, my son's uh, football playoff game that's happening right now. But it's good to, it's good to be back here in South Florida, man. Real good to be back here in South Florida. But yeah, just wanted to issue my little uh, my commentary about this Kevin Hart thing, man. Kevin Hart does not deserve. To, to uh, issue an apology if anything i'm black society we, we don't need an apology either. we just need our money but we, we've been mistreated for way 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 longer than any other group that's that's been marginalized black society has been mistreated for over 500 years so we need way more than just an apology we need our check point blank and simple so just wanted to uh, do this video real quick family um, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this Kevin Hart hosting the Oscars and now he's not hosting the Oscars anymore because of these tweets from 10 years ago. Let me know in the comments section down below, family. Till next time, Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out. Peace.